Hey, Erganelli Wizard. Oh, hey. What can I do for you? Can I please get a pumpkin? Sure. Thanks. And the usual water jug? Okay. Perfect. And a can of SpaghettiOs. Sure. A wooden door. Of course. And finally, a fiberglass mannequin. Of course. What do you need to do with all this stuff? To shoot these. Wow, nice. Well, you're gonna need one of these then. Good day folks, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to talk about German brand Home Defense 24's 68 caliber crazy killer darts or killer bullets as they're called for the HDS 68. They are very, very well made, uh, plastic and aluminum and they are designed to spin in flight. So with these, we've obviously left the less lethal world. And I do want to echo the brand's warning that these are made for target practice and obviously never shoot these on people or animals. So Home Defense 24 sent me these two types uh, right here. Uh, this one, which we'll call the long ones, uh, is nearly three and a half inches long or nine centimeters and weighs around seven and a half grams. While this one, which we'll call the short ones, is around three inches long or seven centimeters and weighs around nine grams. And of course, today we'll be using our HDS 68. As many of you know, I am not the biggest fan of this gun's power. Uh, nowadays, you know, the newer T4E generations are in a complete other level uh, power wise. At least that's what I think. Um, of course, the looks alone of this gun are worth the around $150 uh, in my opinion. And the cool thing about this CO2 double barreled uh, shotgun is that you can pretty much shoot anything 68 caliber from it. Uh, anyway, this is the 16 joules version. So I don't have many of these uh, darts. I only have six and six. So I'll be mix matching them with the various targets uh, which you have seen in the intro. Um, this is a ammo carrier this was actually made by cododo the italian brand um, home defense 24 also makes one that is just like it uh, this is the one side version cododo has the two side version um, as you see obviously it holds the ammo very very well and i'm sorry to be putting <laughs> competitors in the same video but again the whole point is about the ammo holder and as always my friends before every test i will be putting in a fresh co2 cartridge i'm using umarex right now just because i'm using umarex guns so it only makes sense that the brand that makes the guns also makes the perfect canisters for them All right, folks, let's start with our usual chrono test. Uh, we'll be measuring the speed in feet per second and ultimately the joules power of both projectiles.
All right, well, what do we have here? An arrow that bounced. An arrow that broke. Arrows that went in. And arrows that came out, or did they just make a hole? Hmm, no complete major penetration on both sides, as one perhaps would expect. But wait, I just noticed this when I picked up the water jug. One indeed did try to penetrate. A bit too low, perhaps. Okay, so these are, were in the water jug. I just pulled them out. Obviously, it's a soft uh, surface, a soft target. So, as you can see, they are easily rebuildable. The point is fine. What about the short version? There we go. Up next is our decor Halloween pumpkin with a typical pumpkin skin. So I shot the two short ones first and then the two long ones and it seems that I hit the, I hit one arrow with the other arrow. Something that I've only seen done in Robin Hood, quite frankly. But yeah. And the other one, did it penetrate all the way? I think we gotta open it to find out. Yes, it did. Voila. And I found this on the ground. Seems like it's perfectly intact. Thus, again, perfectly reusable. And finally, here is the point to the short one. So the short one went in uh while the the, the 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 short one got stuck in the skin while the point kept going in so they did separate but again the point separated this is very hard to do with one hand but i am pretty sure we can reattach it just give me a second and indeed i was able to reattach it and i'm gonna reuse it not bad. Next up, let's see how these things do on some hard surface. And no, I am not wasting food. This is pure poison, so I'm actually doing the world a favor. Alright guys, I only shot two, one and one, a long one and a short one because I'm starting to run low. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Okay, so what happened here? It went in here. Wow, and came out the other side. But what happened to the other one? I shot two projectiles. Or projectiles. Let me see, let me open it up one second. Okay, I see what happened. Um, the first one just hit it right here and bounced away. So we only have an entry damage, but nothing on the exit. While the second one went in, broke off. This one bounced back. This is the other, this is the, 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 the back part of the aluminum arrow. So this bounced back while the arrow went all the way through. Okay, we have a wooden door here. Let's see if they will bounce off 
or get stuck in. All right, well, that's we could have expected. He actually did a bit of both. Well, as you saw, one bounced off after puncturing this area right here, while these all got stuck pretty well and do not want to come out. All right, guys, as always, when we see our shady bad guy, that means we are down to our last target. Um, we've already killed him with the Kododo uh, spears. Let's see what kind of damage we can do with the home defense 24 spears. All right, well, that was pretty surprising as they did all bounce, or the plastic part definitely bounced back, but we see a bunch of deep holes. So does that mean that the aluminum part went in? Mm, no, here's one, here's another. There's another. All right, so, okay, these all bounced. From our fiberglass mannequin, very interesting. Again, these are the Kododo, kind of similar concept, 68 caliber spears for the HDS-68, which I reviewed a couple weeks ago, this as well. And what happened to the face? We got the sunglasses, but nothing penetrated. All right, guys. Well, you do not need me for the final conclusion. <laughs> As you saw, they're obviously very, very effective projectiles. Again, I'm always let down by the power of the gun. Um, I don't think these would have bounced off anything had the gun had a bit more of a punch, but uh, nevertheless, uh, very, very effective. Also quite reusable. Um, I still I need to go around and find the the kind of the bottom part of these um, and the spear part of these but again you know they are easily reconstructable and reusable so not bad there one thing I did forget to do and, and something that home defense 24 does suggest is to grease the barrels so do if you have some silicon spray or oil um, that will definitely help the uh, obviously the projectile to slide down the barrel um, guys that's it for today uh, I think this came out to be a bit shorter than the usual videos I'll see after I edit it um, that's it next week I am going to I'm, we're gonna still stay on the home defense 24 and I'm gonna be comparing the uh, 50 caliber aluminum balls against the 50 caliber steel balls very different weights um, so let's see kind of what uh, what difference there is uh, in the whole spectrum so thank you so much for watching guys thank you so much for clicking that like button if you did indeed like the video and thank you so much for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet and i'll see you next week